Hi, welcome to my place. I got a treat for you, especially those of you out there who are unartistic or think that they are and would like to produce some nice artwork either for your home or you might like to give it away as a friend. This is what we're going to do today and I call this my um, serviette or paper napkin art and it is so, so easy to achieve and once you get into it, the sky is the limit and you just Love it. Okay, so to begin, let me just talk to you about what you are going to need and you don't need very much. You need a canvas, a pre-stretched canvas frame in whichever size you desire or whatever's gonna fit your image. So I've got a couple there and I really love this black look, it's so cool. And then you, as I said, you just need a selection of lovely serviettes and I've got my uh, lovely friend not far from here and whenever we go to dinner, she always has the most exquisite little table napkins. Look at these little herbs and things and walking into her house is just like the most wonderful treat. It's like being in France. So I. I always ask her if I could have one or two of her napkins so that I can bring them home and turn them into art. So I hope she's not watching because this is what she's going to get for her birthday, which is next week. Okay, to begin, you need to, I'm going to use this big one here, and you also need some watery PVA glue, and it's like half PVA glue, half water, and it's got to be quite runny, and if it's a little bit too thick, just make a little bit, bit lighter. Okay, get rid of those. Now, when you get your your serviettes, what you need to first do is iron them to get rid of any creases, because look, when you see this here, see these little creases in here, those creases there, once you put those onto the canvas, those creases will come through. You are going to get a few little bits of, of like raised that, but that won't matter in the overall look, but a crease, nah, we don't want one of those. Okay, so when you get your napkins, what you will do, notice is that there are several layers. There's usually three layers. So there's your first layer, and then these two layers here, just get rid of those. And when you iron this, what you'll find is these come off so much easier once they have been ironed and there's been a bit of heat to it. Now I've still got just the tiniest, tiniest little wee bit of a crease in there, but I'm not going to worry about that because what I thought I would like to do is to just get my finger in there and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rip that across because I'd actually like for the canvas to, to be showing. So just go around there and rip that out. And the other thing I like to do, and I'll show you when I've finished with my other ones is, be careful, I don't want to take too much of that away. Yeah, I think, oh yeah, that's good. The other thing I like to do is to go around the edge and then just rip a few bits off so that you get rid of that harsh line. But you'll find that once you apply that onto the canvas anyway, that will disappear. Right, from there, the next thing to do is to get your watery PVA glue and I'll show you that's what I mean I mean like really 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 look let's see it's like it's just like water you don't need to use very much of this at all and then just go across there like so and cover the whole complete surface or the entire surface of the canvas like so let me just keep going until you've done that then the next thing to do is to get your image, and this is where you have to be very, very careful, because I want that to be as straight as possible. And just keep going, like the smaller the area you're working, the better it's going to be. Now I'll just position that and try and get that as even as I can. And the thing is that once you start applying it like this, you actually can't go too far. You've just got to leave it. Then with a, your paintbrush with just a little bit more or what's there, just go in there and slowly, slowly, slowly just drag that paintbrush with a little bit of glue over it. And I might just put a wee bit more into there. And gently, gently, gently get rid of all of those creases. Now, as I said, don't worry if it sort of like pulls apart, that does not matter. But, and don't worry about, you know, knocking yourself around for the first one. Just a little bit of patience until you get it right. Now, see how that's gone like that? See how much better it is with that little bit there than that straight line there? This also is technically and going to annoy me from now on because I haven't got the balance there and there right 
it's going to annoy me. But never mind, that does not matter at this stage. Go into there with that. So gently, gently, gently. Just drag those bits down. And when you look into it, you'll see how those little wee bits there have all sort of like pulled away. That's the look that I want. Now, to clean up these edges here, just make sure that that's all done. So I could see that they're starting to bubble away. So just get rid of that as well. And then the other thing I think I might do is I might just bring these bit, use the brush, and then you can actually start to lift that. I would rather do things like this and have it sort of so that it's, it's as even as I can at this stage. And if all else fails and you get to the end of it and you think to yourself, I absolutely cannot stand it, the whole thing is wrong, what you can do is take it to the tap, run it under uh, lukewarm water and you can take the whole thing off, let the canvas dry and then start again. How easy is that? Now the next thing I wanted to tell you is you leave that to completely dry and it'll take probably a day to completely dry. If you're in a humid environment it might be a little bit less than that. When it is absolutely dry, hit it with a couple of coats of crystal clear varnish and just over the whole lot of it again. Now I also have to thank my sponsor which is Spotlight here in New Zealand for the materials that I'm using today. So a couple of layers, let it thoroughly dry be between coats of varnish and how good is that? Lovely, easy, inexpensive artwork which makes you look like you are fantastic and I just want to show you these again so that we can go back and have a look because I did, this is, the, this is the bit that I was talking about, like the, the napkin is a different colour but I've centred it up where it was like a little bit out of out of source I've just actually pulled that pushed it in and pulled it out but I think that that's just absolutely lovely and the other thing is because it's had the two coats of varnish it will not perish it will be fantastic forever and ever and ever thanks for watching I hope you've had fun because I have